The lawyer representing Colton Bushy's family is Chris Murphy. He will be making his way to Saskatchewan this weekend for the preliminary hearing, but joins us tonight from our CBC Toronto studios. Chris, what is your role next week? So my role is to essentially advise the family about the process and hopefully give them feedback about what's going on in court. Could there be any surprises as this preliminary hearing gets going? I think so. I mean, there are always surprises that are potentially, uh, that are potentially there. I don't expect that there'll be evidence that's called that's going to be um, new to the parties, but you never know how a witness is going to perform on the stand once, once he or she is up there. So uh, there, there definitely will be surprises, but uh, it's hard to anticipate what they'll be at this stage. We were just hearing how the family doesn't think the investigation should have taken so many months to complete. You've spoken before about concerns that you have around how this case was handled by the police. Can you tell me a bit more about those concerns? Well, when we were there in September, um, we located the, the car in which Colton was killed at the Astro Towing parking lot in North Saskatoon. Uh, and the following day it was moved to the SGI salvage yard and that raised some serious concerns for me because it, it's clear that the, the chain of continuity for that vehicle was not kept by the police. And so uh, I don't know what the explanation is going to be by the police for how that car ended up in that tow lot, but there's a, there's a problem because Mr. Stanley's lawyer could, could rightfully claim that there's been a, there's been a breach of the evidence uh, chain, the chain of custody and maybe he cannot get a fair trial so things like that are very concerning for the for me and for the Bushi family just because because it, it, it may it may lead to um, the truth not coming out at trial and that's really all that the Bushi family wants is that the truth comes out at the trial as far as this preliminary hearing stage goes what will the public learn about the case in the next week well, there will likely be a ban of publication of what okay. evidence is called at the preliminary inquiry. That doesn't mean, of course, that people can't go watch. So the, the public who watches the preliminary inquiry will hear all the evidence that the Crown is calling at the preliminary inquiry. I doubt that Mr. Stanley will call any evidence, but at the conclusion of this week, there should be a, a much better understanding of exactly what the case against Mr. Stanley is. And to this point, you know, there has been information to obtain a search warrant that's been, um, that's been disclosed in the media, but it hasn't been tested in cross-examination, and that's what Mr. Stanley's lawyer will be doing uh, to the evidence this week. Thanks for your time tonight, Chris. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for having me.